My name is Gabriel Akek and uh, I go to Penn State University. And my major currently is IHS and international politics, but I'm really leaning eventually into geology because I'm interested in that too. And I've, made, I've switched my majors a little bit in the past, so like any other student. And I'm from Sudan. I, although I grew up mostly in Kenya, I went to Kenya when I was about uh, eight years, and I've been there to around 2000, year, uh, year 2005, year 2001, approaching one year. That's when I came to the U.S. And I went to high school for a year and a half in Philadelphia, and then applied to Penn State and got here. Sudan is really a very, very huge country, very big, actually the biggest in Africa. And it has really diverse population and really uh, is a very, very diverse climatically. In the south it is warm and temperate, we mean it rains in the south. In the north it is very dry and desert. And Kenya, on the other hand, is also a country that is very mountainous and it's where Mount Kenya is located the second, probably the second largest in Africa. And Kenya is really diverse climatically. From the northern part of Kenya, it's arid and semi-arid, so it's very dry. And in the center of the Kenya and toward the south southwest, it's very warm and it rains where Nairobi is located. And now Kenya, uh, its elevation is very, is relatively high compared to Sudan. So. It's, both countries are very different in, in their climate area. Kenya is a very, very, very stable country in terms of political situation. It has been stable since independence in 63. Sudan, on the other hand, has been at war with itself since 56. So, between the north and the south, uh, the north the north is more m predominantly Muslim and uh, yeah, Muslim and Arab. Although the Arab population is very small, but the most, but the Muslim, are the Africanized, African who are Muslimized are a huge part of the population. Kenya is predominantly Christian, and a little bit of tiny, a small population is, is Muslim and. Uh, the other part of it is either traditionalists like Sudan, whereby some population are not either leaning toward any religion. They are they follow their own traditional religion. Like in my home hometown of uh, Bor, there are people who follow uh, their ancestral gods instead of either Jesus Christ or other or, or Islam. And so both countries, South and South and Kenya, are more close than northern Kenya, so to speak, yeah.